Hello guys, Night Spectre here, bringing you another League of Legends cast, just in the game as usual, and as always, boots are being bought. Except of course for the supports who are going for Fairy Charm, but for now let's go over the team. So, we have a Draven, who will be the AD carry on the bottom lane, together with the Sona who is apparently going to protect their jungler, which is a good thing to do. We have a Cassadin on blue team as well, which is nice. It's been a while since I saw a Cassadin, so I'm lucky to find one. And an Irelia, who we always seem to find on the top lane, no matter what. And a Jungle Udyr. It has been a while since I've casted a game with a Jungle Udyr as well, so ha, props to you, Udyr. You're in the game. They'll be up against the red team, who has a Jace, probably on top. Pretty much sure on top. They are invading actually, which is pretty nice. Though I don't think. Oh, actually, not no, not really the nicest ward actually. I don't think it's inside the brush. Maybe. No, it's not. So she didn't know at all, and now she's gonna get caught. So be sure to ward inside the brush, ladies and gentlemen, or else you're dead. First blood for red team. Great job. Even though I must say props to Sona for placing a ward into the brush, but I'm pretty sure she can't see inside. No. Nope, she can't. She can't see the inside of the brush, which is a bothersome to say the least. So yeah, first blood given to the red team. It was Misfortune getting the kill, so that's pretty bad because Misfortunes are very strong AD carries early on in the game because of her high attack speed and, well, damage potential with those impure shots. We shall see everyone helping Lee Sin trying to steal the race and probably gonna leave one behind. Yes, indeed. And then up to their red buff. Of course there is a ward, so they know they're doing it. So I think Udyr might be able to just steal the, the blue of Lee Sin if he's not fast enough protecting it. We shall see. So for now let's go over to the rest of the team. So as we already seen, we have a Misfortune. Oh, nice steal there by Sona, but she needs to be careful. Misfortune in pursuit, she has her strut on. Oh, but she didn't continue clicking forward, so she might have gotten the kill to be honest. But she clicked on to the champion instead of moving with, well, by clicking next to the champion every time you, you shoot her. Just to get that extra movement. And now Lee Sin going into the middle, so I don't even have the time to go over all the teams. Lux now going in, not able to shackle. Why did she use her shackle already? Should have waited for the flash and now caught us. Uh, Cassidy doing quite the amounts of damage onto her. Level 2 as well. Of course, as I've predicted, Udyr is now going to the red, he saved his smite, so a very smart play indeed, is going to take the min- I'm sorry, I had a hiccup. So, I was going to say, we have Misfortune, and Leona on the bottom, and then Lee Sin in the jungle. As you've all been aware. So then, let the games begin! Actually, Misfortune taking a lot of damage, only level 1 compared to the level 2 of Draven, but Draven now getting caught, his support is nowhere near, Exhaust going down onto him, will he be able to survive, knocking back the Leona? I think the minions will actually try and kill Leona, there is no ward there, but Sona should actually be able to get the kill, exhausting the Misfortune, but now Leona is going in onto Draven with very low HP, so that will be a kill for Draven. No! Sona taking the kill! Why? She could actually just, yeah indeed, she can't just flash and then auto attack the misfortune to death. Even the uh, Hymn of Valor, Valor would have been enough. At the same time, Irelia and Udyr were able to gank uh, the Jace. So good job blue team pulling ahead, even though it was looking bleak because of course red team had first blood and a perfect jungle invade that didn't stop Udyr from invading no jungle. Now Lee Sin trying to go in onto Draven, but of course Sona went in and placed the ward pretty far off, so Draven knew Lee Sin was coming, and is actually not giving a damn, for he is Draven. Just tossing around to Spears, now he needs to get back, if he's able to use his sonic wave onto Draven, then I think Draven might die, he doesn't have flash anymore, oh yes he does, so he didn't even need to use his flash there, missing the sonic wave, or dodging, you can decide. Misfortune now trying to do some damage onto Draven, but of course the poke of Asona is very bad indeed, bad ass I might say. Plus she had two kills, so she already has her Philosopher's Stone four, five minutes into the game, but let's say four. Because she, she had to walk for quite a bit, it's like 30 seconds to get there. Draven just tossing like he just don't care, tossing those blades everywhere. 
Lux doing quite the attack damage onto Cassidy. Does she have improved attack damage? I don't know. Can't really see it. I don't think so. But Lux always has pretty high attack damage, especially combined with her passive there. Is now going to be very aggressive onto Cassidy and igniting him. The minion's doing a lot of damage onto him as well. Will the ignite be enough? I. No, it's not. The minions are going to kill Cassidy anyway. Cassidy. God, you just saw that coming from miles away. And that's a dead Draven as well. Let's see how this team fight happens. Because it, it they just don't turret die for, for fun, guys. There, there must be a reason why Draven died. And we shall see. Did he flash in for the auto attack on Leona? He was actually tanking the turret just before the minions were there. My god, the mistakes in this game are pretty high, I must say. And this is about 1800 elo, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's around that EO. So yeah, mistakes happen. Sometimes you just don't have your day. Irelia being pushed back by Jace because that's how Jace's play. She is a level higher though, so he needs to be careful because if she has lower HP, she can stun you for quite a while. But he is able to knock her back though. Now they are on equal footing. Both of them chugging health pots. Irelia already has Heart of Gold. Udyr spotted by a ward, so he will not be able to gank. Hmm, Sona being attacked on by a misfortune. Misfortune, the, the attack damage of a Sona is pretty high, especially when the minions are there to assist her. Now the tank minion shot Misfortune. One more of him of Valor would be enough, but she isn't going for it. Now she might. Draven with the attack movement speed buff that he can give himself is not able to catch up Misfortune, who has passive movement speed with Strut. Just look at the poke Sona is able to do. And you were going to attack it. I think she was pretty lucky that the caster minions weren't attacking her. Now then, I missed another action. Let's see how it happened. So Lux was like, yeah, I caught you and I'm level 6 and you're not. Oh, it's Udyr. Flashing in with the Phoenix. He doesn't have the slow yet, but Lux doesn't have any escape ability. So Udyr taking the kill and then just going into the turtle. Now Cassidy is level 6. Now he is actually a real champion. Because Cassidy, once he has his Rift Walk, he's very dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. Need to be careful there with Leona, they know you're alone. Leona, of course, with the Daybreak Shield. No, it's not, it's Eclipse, yeah. Is able to tank quite a bit because she gets more armor and magic resistance because of it. But they're waiting for blue to spawn. Of course, Kassadin is a champion that really needs blue. But is his timer dead off? I don't know, maybe it'll spawn in about 10 seconds. I hope so, or else he's just wasting. Ah, there it is. Great decision there, with you. Nice timing, but he is apparently not going to give it to Cassidy. Anyway, Cassidy now hurrying. No, he's not going for it. Of course, having blue for Rudir is quite nice early on in the game, but no, he is going to give it to Cassidy. So, good job there, Rudir. Thank you for proving me wrong and showing that you're quite a swell guy. Misfortune now again, taking a Vim of Valor to the face. Going to take some auto attacks of Draven as well. Thank god that Draven actually walked to in front of her so that his blade went around here. That would have been real dangerous if he would have caught that. Luckily he didn't. So that's good. Lee Sin is good. I think they are going to tower dive. They are one le two levels ahead. They might be able to tower dive, they think. We shall see. Of course, there is a Lee Sin hiding in the brush, but they're not biting. They're not going for it. And now there is Leona going. She's almost dead. And a nice little knockback there by Draven. He gets exhausted, so he will not be able to get the kill. Will they get Leona? No, they will not. Trying to run away. Lee Sin is so close. Misfortune needs to be as far away as possible. Because, of course, him of Valor can shoot two targets. And that might kill any one of them. Now Udyr going into the fray with a red buff. No less than that. So that's a kill onto Leona. Lee Sin now going in onto Draven together with Lux. Lux lasering. Misses. Oh, she should have waited a bit longer for to get a shot on both Udyr and Sona. But now Kassadin going in with the first kill. Is he going to have Lee Sin? He has vision onto him. Lee Sin doesn't know. Ignite kill by Lux onto Udyr. So that's great. Auto attacks by Kassadin will not be enough. They will for Lee Sin. But will it be enough for Lux? Lux going in. One more auto attack. And with the red buff is actually able to get a triple kill. Amazing. Good job there Lux going in there to the bottom lane. Faster than a Kassadin I might say. I think she actually had a quadra kill, but of course the announcer said triple kill. Can't blame her. Or maybe Udyr got the kill back there. Maybe he did. No, I think it was Lux anyway. Now Jace going to jump on Irelia, who is still a level higher. Now that she has lower HP, she is able to stun Jace. So I think she's just going to do that once Jace walks out of position. 
just to have that extra damage on. With her heat and style, she is able to heal herself for quite a bit, and of course her ultimate regens for a lot as well. Udyr is spotted by a ward. He has oracles, so he should actually just walk into this brush and try to destroy it. Has a lot of movement speeds because, of course, he has boots of mobility. It's first time I see Udyr with that. It is now going straight on to the Lee Sin. He is a level higher, but Lee Sin has red buff. So that's pretty dangerous. There is a Lux of... And a nice Light Binding, but because Cassidy was there, Lee Sin didn't want to go in. And a wise decision as well for Irelia was there as well. Now Irelia going in onto Jace. Jace, of course, with the speed gate, is just able to get away. But Udyr thinks, nope, I'm gonna tank this, I'm an Udyr. And that's a kill onto Jace. So, for now, great plays by both teams, I might say. They're, both teams aren't giving up, they're giving it their all, and that I appreciate. Because I must say, I find red team's game comp to be a little bit better early on in the game. Though I must say, that's it's only because, of course, they have a misfortune and compared to the Draven of blue team. For the rest, everyone actually has an early game comp. But I, I really prefer Draven in the end above a, a misfortune because he gets so scary with his just rotating blade attack. It's pretty awesome. Now we're going in on to Lee Sin together with Cassidy. Cassidy does not have the mana, nor does Blue Team have the minions to dive him, so it might be better for them to walk away. Leona going in on to Sona, they still need to be careful. They are a higher level, and Sona has her ultimate ready to blow. So if they make a mistake, Sona will just kill you. Oh, nice grab there, but Misfortune wasn't there, and now that's the full brunt of Sona's poke upon her face. Udyr of course destroyed the ward here, so Lux doesn't have that much vision. A red buff Lux is actually pretty scary, because of course her auto attacks are really good because of her passive. Every time Lux casts a spell, she gets a little light bulb on the champion, and that'll kill you. So she's going in onto Cassidy. Oh, nice rift walk. Just barely dodging it. However, one more auto attack will be more than enough to kill him, I think. And there he she goes. That's a kill. Nice shield tap, preventing any damage from Cassidy. But it doesn't really matter anyway. Jace now went in onto Irelia, but guess who was there? It was a flaming bird. Is able to. Irelia should have kept away there because now she will die as well. That's really not necessary, okay, maybe you want to have the kill, but Udi was more than capable enough to get the kill onto Jace. Why die as well? That's pretty wasted gank there in my part. Of course, they did get an assist extra, so it might be worth it. Now Draven going in onto Lux, catching it all, trying to throw it down, but of course Lux isn't that weak of a champion. Is going to laser together with the... Lucent Lucidity, that was a lot of damage there, now Lee Sin trying to catch up, it will not work, Draven running for his life. Oh, but there's a misfortune coming in from behind, is she going to flash over the wall? She is just going to ulti over the wall, I think flashing over it would have been better to be honest. Now Draven is able to get away, if she would have flashed over, she would have gotten Draven easily. Oh no, the boomerang just pulling the wolves, he needs to run away pretty fast. Oh my god, this game is pretty weird. Red team taking dragon by the way, but I think Lux needs to be very careful for there's a Cassidy who is going to spot red team taking the dragon. Well, of course they have a ward so they know, but if Cassidy is able to kill Lux, which he could, if he has his full... Oh no, he's gonna get spotted by a ward. Nice grab there. Now Leona going in. Laser, of course, off cooldown. Lots of damage onto Cassidy. Nice shield, but not enough now. Cassidy, of course, with the Rift Flash. Nice ultimate by Leona, and that will be a kill buff misfortune. Really good kill there indeed. That ultimate of Leona was spot on. Mamma miracoli. 11-10 on the killings. And, well, blue team having a 600 gold lead, which isn't a lot. So the dragon that the red team took really put them on the same level. Just one kill differentiation is all that matters. And, frankly, that's not too much early on in the game. Who has the gold anyway? Lux is with a huge lead, has 6 kills, so she's a danger. Misfortune has 3 kills, so those are actually the champions you want to have the kills. Of course, Jace is 1 to 3, so that's pretty bad, but she might get away. <laughs> nice dodge there, and now Udi with the save is going to just scare them away. So, Irelia is a survivor. Really, really, really. 
Misfortune now getting pushed back by Sona, who has of course leveled up her Him of Valor first. It's already level 4, whilst her heal, Area of Preservance, is only level 1. So yeah, just leveled at him. <clears throat> oh my god, nice ultimate there by Sona, but because Leona was actually tanking quite a bit of the damage there, Misfortune is just able to wreck this team. Because of the blue buff, her cooldowns weren't that high, but Leona with a nice ult nice laser! Oh me moly, that was a very good luck laser. She went in just in time, is now going to try and catch up Sona, which she might as well do. I don't know why Sona is teleporting, it won't be fast enough, and that is a double kill for Lux. She had to ward, she knew Lux was coming. Maybe she knew that if she would have run away, that Lux would have caught her either way. I don't know, maybe it was just dead before the end. But I think she could have tried at the very least, there was no way she could teleport back in time. Cassidy now going in onto Lux, flashing in, she had, no he didn't have, it. yes he had vision there with the ward, but Lux is just a little bit too fat I might say, nice thing there that Udyr is there, now Lux going to try and run away, oh nice rift walk there by Cassidy, dodging the light binding, that will be a kill, if she didn't do that then I think that would have been a kill nevertheless onto Cassidy, Cassidy needs to be careful but Udyr is just such a strong beast. He is of course also the one of the most fat players on the blue team together with Cassidy, so the combination of the two is just something you can be afraid of. Almost hitting a sonic wave there, so that could have been dangerous. Top lane getting pushed by Irelia, he might actually dive the Draven, uh, the Jace, even though of course Jace might be able to just hit him back with the hammer, so we shall see. Bottom lane was just pinging about the map, Jace now running away because Cassidy was standing onto a ward with very low HP. But then again, Cassidy will silence you, so only thing he could do was auto attack Cassidy, and I don't think that would have been enough to kill. Especially with Nyrelia there just walking about, killing the minions, which is smart because that makes it so that Nyrelia needs to go back and not able to attack the tower. Whew, what a game. 12 12. They are equal now, and money wise, Red Team is even winning. All thanks to that first blood and dragon, I might say. They also have a turret, by the way, so that might actually explain a little bit more. They had... Witch Tower? Oh? 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 Oh yeah, of course, they destroyed the tower. <laughs> the, the derp. Sorry there. Cassidy going in onto Lux with just his regular poke. It does a decent amount of damage. Lux going for blue. She might just take it herself. She doesn't need Lee Sin, but there are a lot of minions coming, so she will destroy those first. Oh no, there's a ca man. What's wrong with me? Am I starting to get colorblind? Can't I differentiate blue and red? Well, it, the blue kind of looks like green, to be honest. So maybe that's well, it's colorblind mode. So of course it should be colorblind proof. I hope. What's wrong with me? Anyway, pings are going down onto Jace. Of course, there is still this ward over here, and Jace just said, "Hey, Cassidy, I know." So Lee Sin going in, counter jungling Udyr, and a lot of players of Red Team going to destroy their second tower of the game. Well, a lot of players did not just cast the minions, but it will be more than enough. Nice little uh, grab there onto Cassidy, however, it wasn't good enough. He can rift walk. He is now going to rift walk over this wall, but there's an Udyr taking away the attention. He needs to be careful there not to lose his oracles. An ultimate use there of Leona. He should be able to flash away, but the Dragon Rage makes it so that he can't escape. He is nearly dodging the Misfortune Ultimate, who is taking a lot of damage by Draven, and Udyr is actually able to get away. Sona will die. Lux died already. Now, <laughs> Beast Mode Udyr going in to tank all the damage. Jace is there, going to knock some sense into Udyr, and the shield is able to get the kill. Now, Leona and Jace are the only ones standing. Draven doing a lot of damage. They're not... Oh, the Ignite, of course, got Leona. But why is he ignoring Leona? But, of course, it's just able to do so. Now, you can't escape... Uh, and Irelia, especially with blue, her dash has just a too low of a cooldown. And that will be another kill. So, almost an ace. Lee Sin was able to get away, but that was an amazing team fight. Of course, going in, collapsing onto an Udyr isn't the smartest thing to do because that turtle shield makes him so tanky. Let's see what he levels second. It is his turtle stance. He actually leveled it first. Oh no, second. He's just so high level because Udyr is so good at farming and he has a lot of kills. So early on in the game, an Udyr, when he leveled his shield second, is very tanky and they used quite the amounts of ultimates onto him, I might say. Ultimates that should have been used on the damagers. Even though, of course, at this point, Udyr is also a high damaging threat. 
He has attack speed, which is very good on a Phoenix suit here. Attack speed equals damage, mate. Remember that. Don't go for a Trinity Force on Phoenix suit here. It's silly. It works, of course, but attack speed is so much better on a, on a Phoenix suit here. Go Trinity Force on a Tiger suit here. And go top. You silly. Ryu hasn't died yet since he has bought his uh, oracles, I hope. I'm not mistaken. Or he's just so rolling in money that he can just buy an infinite amount of oracles. Which is possible. He has been destroying quite the amounts of wards with it. So maybe he'll have uh, it returned to him. It's an investment. Is Does he have flash? I think he still has flash. Yes, he does. He, he wanted to flash over the wall back there on this team fight. But it wasn't really working. Because he got knocked back by Lee Sin. So he still has his flash. Which is very dangerous for Nudia. Irelia now getting caught will not die of course. She is Irelia. Also quite tanky. Leona is trying to grab someone she likes. She could actually go for Draven. He has vision onto him. So two squishies right over there. Now Irelia again getting caught by Lux. Nudia going in. Team collapsing onto Udi, they shouldn't do it. I Leona's ultimate missing there. Lee Sin going in onto Irelia. Those aren't really the main targets. Oh my god, look at that Lux damage. So Draven might actually die to Leona. However, the rest of Red Team is going to die to Cassidy and Udir. Cassidy getting the kill onto Lux. Udir going in onto Misfortune. Misfortune actually standing her ground onto Udir and killing off the Oracles. Amazing job. But the rest is all bad. So Ace for Blue Team. Red team actually manages well considering, I must say, they were focusing Irelia and, well, Udi, and Udi actually died because of it. So it's an Oracle's down, but was it worth it? They ignored pretty much Cassidy and Dra Draven while they attacked him in the end, but it wasn't enough. But yeah, who do you want to focus on this team? Udir is quite strong, Sona, well she's Sona, she is of course fairly squishy and can do quite the poke early on in the game, so she's actually a target you want to kill quickly. Irelia can do high damage, but she is quite tanky together with Udir, who also has high damage early on in the game. So I can't really blame them. And that's another Sonic Wave missing there, though I don't think he wanted to go in. Who knows? Cassidy farming the bottom lane, knocking them all pretty low and then going to Rift War. That's how you farm with Cassidy. Yeah. He just leveled up apparently. Yes, he did. So, red team pushing, pushing like they must for Lordaeron. They are now five cults behind, and that's pretty bad because they were ahead. They still have equal towers, so that's at least something. I think they also have a lead on dragon kills. They're going in, collapsing onto Irelia. Irelia, of course, very fast champion. Who CC doesn't really work on her because the more people are attacking her, the, the less CC she actually gets, the more... Well, it's like she gets the tenacity boost. It's pretty good, but she won't be able to kill them. And that's a knockback you didn't want in that direction. Now Jay's showing how squishy he is. He is actually going to die. Leona using a nice ultimate, preventing Irelia from getting closer. But the Rift Walk is just able to get closer regardless. Nice try, Leona. You did... That was a very nice ultimate, but it was... It was it, it just wasn't that. It's not gonna happen. Things are going down onto Baron pretty early on in the game, I think. Well, it's 23 minutes. But this is solo ranked, guys, so... I like it. Lee Sin is there, however, to try and steal the Baron. Has vision. Thanks to his Sonic Wave, however. Uh, thank you, Leona. How, uh, there is a pink ward, so they are going to destroy this ward. And then another ward. What's the health? I can't see the health of Baron. What's wrong? Well, you can see it here on the left corner. I wonder why I can't see the health. Did I press V? No, I didn't. Oh, that is his health. I thought it was a ward health. Sorry, guys. I'm a, I'm a bit retarded today. I'm a retard today. It's a Monday. Can't blame me for being a retard on a Monday. Misfortune at the same time pushed the bottom way on, wave until almost the inhibitor turret. So it was worth it, I think, for Red Team to just... Try to ignore them. Blue team couldn't do Baron apparently. It was a bad mistake. As I said, it was pretty early on in the game. I think. Though of course Udir can tank quite well. He has the Zeke's Herald. Which is nice if you don't tend to see Alto too often on a non-support. Nice damage there. Now Leona just going in onto Cassidy, who was still able to riff walk weirdly enough. Nice heal there by Sona together with a nice stun. And then Udir will probably get the kill onto Lux. Leona was able to grab, but it wasn't enough. So double kill for blue team, getting two, it was pretty, pretty nasty that 
that Cassidy was still able to riff lock in the small time frame that he had in between the Leona stun. But I didn't thought it was possible, but apparently it was, because else he wouldn't have been able to riff lock. Jay's now trying to destroy a turret. He is of course also a very fast champion. He should be able to run away, but there's an Aurelia right behind him. Is now he can't use the gate because he has the Mercury Hammer, so he needs to switch one more time, is going to knock her back, and then with the Acceleration Gate is able to run away. However, there's a Cartus. Cartus might actually die to him, so he needs to be careful. He's staying to the back and then just going to tag him, but was able to get killed, as I said. So, nice play there by Jace, keeping Ignite and his Hammer for Cartus. Uh, Cassidy, if I say Cartus, I'm sorry. It's a Monday. <laughs> the only excuse I have. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be launching. This is a very weird ward. I didn't see it. It's stuffed underneath a shrubbery. So I must say that Red Team is better at pushing down towers for now. Then again, they have the a more of a mid-game comp than Blue Team, I feel, so... Even then, if they're not able to end it pretty soon, I don't think there's any hope left for for that team. Though who knows? It's all about the team fights. It's all about the dum dum dee dee dum. Nice little dragon rage there. However, misfortune shouldn't have used her ultimate just because she stands still while she uses it. So now she is going to get assaulted by a new deer and an Aurelia. Nice ultimate again by Leona. Lux laser hitting both. But she uses her death fire grasp at the wrong timing, I might say. Is now going to get attacked by Kassadin and will probably die. Misfortune already falls to Irelia. Kassadin having the Lux. And then Draven having the Lee Sin. No, he was able to save God away. But then Mother Flash by Draven will make it so that Lee Sin will die either way. Now we have one Leona running for her life. Jace going to the middle to try and defend it. Maybe he should have continued pushing top. I don't know. We shall see. Leona now going to recall. Cassidy, of course, realizing this is just going to riff walk straight onto her face, doing a lot of attack damage as well, because of course the Nether Blade does extra damage and it regenerates mana every time he hits, so it's quite nice. Uh, in the past, I've seen uh, your tanking at Irelia, you need to be careful there. Trying to bait maybe Jace, but that was really close. Oh, she has. Never mind, she, she has a Guardian Angel. So it was a good bait no matter what, but Jace didn't. Catch the bait. He's a very bad fish. Bleep. A fish with a hammer or a crossbow. Which is a very nasty fish indeed. Destroying the wards at Baron Mate. Baron Mate. That, that's really. I love this uh, recall position at Baron, but mostly at this high elo it gets warded. But early on in the game, you can use Baron Pit just to recall away when someone is chasing you. They never check it. Trust me. Oh, nice grab there onto Cassidy. Will he be able to riff walk to safety? Well, the laser says no, but the flash says yes. Will Miss Fortune be able to catch up? I don't think she will. She isn't able to teleport away. Lux trying to bind, but it won't work. Lucent Lucidity is not able to hit. Why do I keep calling it Lucent Lucidity? It's Lucent Singularity. Red Team has a dragon. Draven tried to steal it with his ultimate. It didn't work. A pity indeed. Draven getting caught there, but Serna is there to support. That's why she's a support character. Hmm, the damage on, on Jace's uh, Q isn't really that high. He only has a Trinity Force for now. And is building a normal magic mantle. So he might go for a Hex Drinker, probably. I hope. Or else it'll be a weird item he's going for. Maybe some. No, Jace doesn't really need attack speed. And Irelia now going in on to. Well. It appears to be Jace right about now. Jace, of course, very fast champion, is not able to outrun a bear stand. So they do a nice ultimate again by Leona. Very defensive ultimate this time around. Nice shield by the Lux, but Lux now <laughs> taking the attention towards the Misfortune there. Misfortune shouldn't have been there unless she had flash as well. So now she died, and that's going to be a push onto the inhibitor. I think they will have this inhibitor. There's not much that Red Team can do about this. Except maybe if Lee Sin is able to do something about it, like running away. Run away! Still no Tiger Stance for UD, which is normal if you go Phoenix, you don't really need Tiger Stance. They're actually collapsing now onto Draven, they are going to have the kill. Great job there by Lee Sin and Jace getting the kill onto Draven. Leona tanking this, so that might explain how this is happening. Now there's actually a lot of people dying there for Red Team, they are going to need to have to run away. I rally of course. Can die because she has Guardian Angel, so not really worth killing that much. 
Then again, at least they popped the Guardian Angel for now. Lux with low on mana, but there is a misfortune in the game. Is she going to be able to shoot anyone? But there's Cassidy, who has a high burst potential as well. Shields are going down by Lux, it won't be enough. Stun going down by Udir, and that will be a kill. And I think even a double kill for Irelia. Is she able? No, it's actually Cassidy taking the kill, and Irelia dying to the tower. You scumbag. Hey man, I need to be fed. I'm a Cassidy. True. Normally Cassidans aren't that good at farming minions, therefore they need to have champion kills. However, he's not that far behind on Lux. It's not even 10 minion kills differentiation there. And he has way more kills than Lux, so he is ahead. Never mind what I said. If you're able to farm with a Cassidan early on in the game, guy, you're lucky. Kudir's noticing is really low on health and there's a Lux just wondering about when she's alive. She might have been able to snipe him, so good decision to run away. Lee Sin still going for the chase, might use Baron to get closer. He will. Now he has vision onto Udir, but he isn't going for it. But because he attacked the Baron, it still did damage. I He could have Sonic. I wonder why he didn't go for Key Strike. Oh, Key Strike is Shen, sorry. What's the attack? Uh, resonating Strike. <laughs> it was Strike. Still, nice little resonating strike there on Sona, however, there's a Draven now who does so much damage. Nice dodge on part of, of course, uh, the Crescendo. Nice dodge there, Leeson. I think Leona was hit by it, but it doesn't really matter. Are they going to be able to auto-attack this ward? Yes, they will, so even though you don't have a pink ward, as long as you... <laughs> now the Baron again, going to puke onto Sona. Blah! Oh, you bastard. Aurelia going in onto Lee Sin. It's a 1v3 situation, so they might be able to just do great here. Oh, that Aurelia is so strong. They're going in onto Draven, but they're not able to catch her. Aurelia is zoning the route pretty well. Cassidy going in onto Lux and just one-shotting her entirely. And Le Aurelia was just able to flash away. Leona now going to go in onto Aurelia. It won't work, so both Misfortune and Jace flashed over the wall, trying to get a lot of damage in onto Cassidy. It works, however, he can Rift Walk, and there's an Aurelia as well, so they will die. Going in onto Cassidy, will it be enough? Cassidy Rift Walks away, gets healed by Sona. One more auto attack will be enough, but he gets stunned into Infinity and beyond. So, I really are pinging down to say, oh, let's finish this. Udyr says, oh, I want to get back. All right, let's finish this. So, I think this will be GG. There's 10k gold differentiation, which is very bad at this point of the game. End game, it's not really that bad to have a 10k gold differentiation because, of course, you all have your items anyway. But, oh, Leona is actually there to defend together with Lee Sin. This will not be the end just yet. Leona using her ultimate to try to slow them down. Trying to stun Castlin, but again he is able to riff lock in between Zenith Blade and the Shield of Daybreak. So that's a pity, to say the least. Lux, again using a death by grasp incorrectly. It does the total HP, not the current HP. I know it, it is current HP, not total HP. That's what I meant. So death by grasp does one third of your current HP. So if you don't have a lot of health left, it doesn't really do that much damage. Maybe 120? No, but a nice binding dodged by Udir, however. But at least they got the kill onto Sona. Udir, of course, with bear stands very fast. However, Lucent Singularity might be able to slow him down. No, it will not because of another flash by Udir as well. And now you will never catch him. He has boots of mobility. They have activated. You will never catch him. Never, never. No, never. Never, ever. Hardly ever. Nice try, guy. Yeah. <laughs> if you know who I just referenced to, put in the comments below. As if you don't know. Extra, extra, says the news. Misfortune has a big caboose. Is going to get damaged by Draven, though. See you later, girl. Oh my! <coughs> I didn't expect it that! Draven even had a red buff, and still he gets just killed by misfortune. Well, Draven's item build is a bit weird to say the least, he still hasn't gone for attack damage. Well, he has a BF sword, so now he is going for attack damage. Have it two phantom dancers? Alright, then you lose for certain to an infinity edge and a bloodthirster. For certain. So, weird, weird items, weird game, and overall, to be honest, I've seen a lot of weird plays or mistakes or whatever. But it's fun to cast! Now you see Leona here and then Anudir with Boots of Mobility, which you don't see too often as well. Because of course CC on Anudir is pretty hard. If you're able to CC him, he, he, he can't do anything really. 
and he isn't going that tanky, but of course when you're ahead, build damage. That's a thing that WE should have done during the tournament as well. And they built Ezreal very tanky. Everyone on WE during the D Worlds playoffs were building quite tanky. And I think that's the reason why they lost. They weren't able to pull ahead during the mid game because of course they were building tanky. But for now, it's I think it's almost over. One, once the Baron is dead, the, this game is going to end. However, whoever takes if Red Team is able to take Baron, it would be awesome. Lee Sin standing still to give Red to Misfortune. Good job, good job. We're they taking blue again. Not sure why, maybe Cassidy really doesn't need the mana anymore, but he isn't going for mana items, so I think he might need blue pretty intensely though. But hey, time's the money. And it's time for a Baron apparently. I think the guys were spotted by this ward here. I don't know what the range of this ward is. Yeah, they were spotted by it. So there wasn't that much they can do. They are doing quite the amounts of damage onto Baron though. If Lee Sin is able to steal it, it might change the game for a little bit. I don't think he will be able to. I really are going in. Misfortune now going in with her ultimate. A lot of damage there onto Misfortune. Lux laser, not on the right people there. But they might be able to get the kill onto Cassidy and he is able to flash away. Nice snipe there by Jace. Lux was there as well to get the kill. And that's the kill onto Jace. I think, yes indeed, Jace now dead. Lux, the only one standing, is able. To, but she gets tagged by a Sona, who already has killed Baron, by the way. So they weren't able to stop them from taking Baron. Now, Irelia, of course, with the high damage there. Lux laser again off cooldown. It only has like a 24 second cooldown. Draven almost dying there to the tower, but it's an ace, it should be GG. Udyr is still alive apparently as well, so they only had Cassidy, which is good, but Cassidy is quite going for a tanky build with the Rod of Ages and a Chain Vest, so he was going for the Hourglass. Don't think he's going to be able to finish it, but it doesn't matter. Hourglass on Cassidy of course very good, because after you Rift Walk you can use your Hourglass to wait for the cooldown to be back off, and then you can just Rift Walk straight away again. Unless, of course, your timing is a bit off. But probably not, because this Cassidy has proven two times in a row that he is able to riftwalk in between a Zenith Blade and a Shield of Daybreak. So, Aralia trying to tank as much damage as possible for her team to attack the Nexus. She can, of course, die. She has a Guardian Angel back up. So, GG, Blue Team. A very good play indeed. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. I was hoping that Blue Team would have 666 gold but it was 200 gold right next to it it's a pity would have been awesome anyway guys as i said before i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time whatever it is i do whenever it is i'll do it bye, -bye.